Midwives, this video is for you to save and share with your patients if the topic comes up. And I am talking about group RESPs. Saving this video and sharing it with your patients could potentially save them thousands of dollars. Why am I asking you to do this? Because often your patients, by the time they get discharged, there's a good chance that someone has reached out to them to convince them to sign up for what is called a group RESP. Now, RESPs, or Registered Education Savings Plans, are great. They are a government account that you can set up and put money in, and then the government will actually do a bit of a matching grant, and it's a great incentive to help parents, you know, kickstart saving for their children's post-secondary education. But there are three types of RESPs. Individual RESPs, set up for a single person. Family RESPs, set up for, you know, multiple children or multiple offspring in a household. And then group RESPs, which are this other separate category. I won't go into all the details, but very specifically, group RESPs have a few things which make them really unappealing. First, massive fees. When you sign up for a group RESP, actually half of the fee is charged up front. Your contributions go towards paying that fee before you even get to contribute into the RESP. So half that fee has to get paid. So for the first year even, it could be that you're not making much in contributions to your child's actual education savings plan. Second are restrictions. There are many restrictions. It's more of an contractual obligation to contribute and make it all the way through to the end in order to receive some of these bonuses and rewards that they talk about. And they even have in their fine print that they expect a certain percentage of families to not make it through the full plan. And finally, the investment management piece. They start by taking the contributions and the government grants and investing solely in fixed income and then any interest and other subsequent gains, they will invest back into stock or equity, which is really the flip when you think about the fact that early on, you have a nice long time horizon. So you would want to have more stock exposure early in the investment process to be able to let it compound and grow. So in general, group RESPs, when compared to the other types of RESPs that are available, are a terrible choice. So if you see this video, or if you see my written post, save it, midwives, share it with your practice, Keep it on standby so that if your patients happen to mention our ESPs to you, I know you can't give financial advice. Simply say, hey, here's a link with some extra information to be able to help them pause before making any urgent or rash decisions that might not be in their financial best interests. And keep in mind, we're talking truly thousands of dollars of difference. So it is worth it. See you tomorrow.